This is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Thrust. Uh, Thrust is a redeco of Autobot Breakaway, if you have this figure. Completely the same mold, the only difference is obviously the colors, and he's a Decepticon. And there's a new head mold. Uh, other than that, it's exactly the same mold, same articulation, same transformation. Uh, between these two guys, if you have not picked up this mold, I highly recommend the Thrust uh, figure more than the Breakaway. I love the Breakaway figure, but uh, the Thrust figure is really a character figure, much like R much like RC, and you're really buying it for the character, not so much for the mold. But again, as as, as I said, I'm a big fan of this mold, and you get you get a you get a you get a very good character. As well as a, uh, a decent, a very well, a, a already uh, very good mold. Now the bio says he's a coward. He's a big no. He's not a coward. He's a bully. Yeah, who is a coward? Uh, he's a bully. He likes to pick on smaller guys. But uh, when a bigger guy, bigger guy comes along with more firepower, he just runs off into space. So a bit of a coward. Uh, nothing like the G1 personality. The only thing closely, uh, remotely. Uh, similar to G1 with this figure is really the head sculpt. Uh, very faint light piping. I don't think you'll be able to see anything. Um, very hardly anything. Very faint light piping on his eyes. Um, very thin slits, sl uh, slats, but uh, the head mold is very close to G1, especially with the um, serrated ears. But uh, he's not a cone head. Or you can make him look like a cone head if you want to. Maybe with this. No, he, he's not. He's not a cone head, as you can see. Um, yeah. Well. Uh, and he is a deluxe class figure. Uh, if if you grew up with the G1 uh, characters, uh, you will you will remember that Thrust is part of the secret team the trio of the, tr the cone head trio of Dirge. Ramjet and, and himself. We have already gotten uh, Ramjet for the Revenge line and he is a repaint of the just get him into view. He is a repaint of the Starscream mode, which which is a Voyager class, and we've got a deluxe uh, thrust and coming soon is the deluxe dirge. You can still make the team, sort of, uh, but uh, they'll have Ramjet as their big brother, so not as not quite as perfect as the Thundercracker, Starscream, and Skywarp trio. But uh, I, you know, if if you love this trio, you can settle for that. So it'll be interesting if we get Dirge soon, sooner or later, and uh, put these three together. But, but I am happy. I am happy with Thrust, with, with how he came out. Um, the black and the maroon, almost magenta, on this figure is just it's just amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm really blown away by how Hasbro did the this redeco. Much of the redecos being done now are, are quite interesting. Uh, decos for the movie to the for the Revenge Line molds, um, uh, but. You know, you t we take what we what we get, right? So here he is again. Uh, highlights on this figure. Well, he still has his Mega Live gimmick. If you move his bicep, you can see the bicep move. Uh, Mega Live. Uh, the head has not been the neck. Or I should say has not been fixed. You cannot uh, pop out the head. You can, however, turn the head about 120, 130 degrees side to side that's about it uh, still retains all the articulation as the breakaway figure but other than that he is just a cool looking redeco and I'm, I'm very pleased with this figure it, 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 I strongly recommend you get him a lot of people I, I reckon are gonna get this guy primarily because not because of the mold but because of the figure and and I think I mentioned in some of the some of my videos that it is amazing what a little bit of of color change can do to a figure in a new head mode. Uh, okay, so let's get him into his jet mode so we can appreciate him better. Um,
share with me. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna discuss it too much since I've already done two breakaway reviews. So let's just get into his alt mode as quickly as we can. so we can stand him up and there is thrust in his alt mode same jet make and type as breakaway but the colors are just amazing bits of silver here very reminiscent of G1 uh, you get the septicon symbols here mine came with a fingerprint on the paint but that's on the plastic molding but that's okay uh, there are some differences in color with the plastic molding and the painted uh, piece of plastic but that that's okay uh, I like the uh, electrostatic uh, purple on his canopy windshield very nice very nice touch the wheels roll roll very freely very nice um, what else oh um, he has these uh, silver markings on his tail I'm not exactly sure what they are they look like scimitars or scythes and uh, perhaps you can tell me in the uh, comment section below what the significance of these things are could be the scourge of the skies maybe alluding to his personality back in G1 but uh, nothing like his personality in, in the revenge revenge line so there you have it quite an interesting redeco of a really brilliant figure um, I highly recommend this figure, if you, especially if you've not gotten Breakaway yet. Uh, this this is a good figure to begin with. Uh, the mold is just amazing, and, and the colors on this figure, the Decepticon colors for the G1 Seeker is just great. So, there you have it. Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, Deluxe Class, Thrust. Thanks for watching.